This is tutorial number 20, and it covers the chamfer feature within Autodesk Inventor. Now to start off, let's open up a part. Let's click File, and click the chamfer part, which I've included in the DVD. Now what we're going to do on the chamfer is we're going to select an edge, and from that edge, we're going to cut it off using the chamfer, so it's going to cut it off at an angle. So to start off, let's choose chamfer, and let's choose this edge here. Now, you're able to change the distance. Right now it's at 2 mils, and you can see the red lines there is how far it's going to be cut in. So if we click OK, it cuts in from that edge 2 millimeters with the chamfer. Now let's do it again. Click chamfer. Let's click this edge here, and let's change the distance to 5 mils. Click OK. And if we rotate this around, you can see that it was cut in 5 millimeters with a chamfer. Now you're able to choose more than one edge at a time, so let's click chamfer, and let's click this edge and this edge, click OK, and if we rotate it around, they're both cut off at 5 millimeter chamfers. Okay, now let's click chamfer again, and we're able to do bases, so if we click this edge here, it actually adds to the material. If we look on the side, click OK, and now we've chamfered onto the side there. Now we're also able to chamfer circular edges. So let's click chamfer. Let's click this edge here and this edge here. Click OK. And we've chamfered 5 millimeters on the bottom and the top. Now there's different chamfers that we can do too. So let's click chamfer. Right now we've been doing the distance chamfer. So we choose an edge and we say how far we want to cut in. Now we're going to do a distance angle. So what we have to do first is click a face. So let's click this face here. Then we have to click an edge. So let's click this edge here. And if we look at it on the side, right now it's going to come out 5 mils and it's going to be on a 45 angle degree. Now the 45 is what we've been using already. Now we're able to change it. We can change it to 70 and it's a steeper one. And if we change it to 15, it's going to be a much shallower one. So let's change this to 70. Click OK. And if we rotate it around, you can see that we chamfered it at 70 degrees. Now, there's another one we can do too. Let's click chamfer. And we can use the distance distance. So let's click this. And what we have to do is we have to click an edge. So let's go to the back here. Let's click this edge here. And right now, there's two distances. So using these two distances, we're able to change the pitch and the run. So if we change this to 10, it's going to go up. If we put it to 1, it's going to go down. So let's make this 10 by 3. Click OK. And we've chamfered right there at 10 by 3. And that concludes our tutorial on how to use the chamfer feature within Autodesk Inventor.